Yes. They told me you were fools. And that I was not to listen to your fine words, nor trust your charity. You promised me my life, but you lied. Do you think that life is nothing more than not being stone dead? It is not the bread and water I fear. I can live on bread. When have I asked for more? It is no hardship to drink water if the water be clean. Bread has no sorrow for me, and water, no affliction. But to shut me from the light of the sky, and the sight of the fields and flowers, to chain my feet so that I can never again ride with the soldiers, nor climb the hills, to make me breathe foul, damp darkness, and keep me from everything that brings me back to the love of God, when it is your wickedness and your foolishness that tempt me to hate him. All this is worse than the furnace in the Bible that was heated seven times. I could do without my war horse. I could drag about in a skirt. I could let the banners and trumpets and knights and soldiers pass me and leave me behind as I'd leave the other women. If only I could still hear the wind in the trees, the larks in the sunshine, the young lambs crying through the healthy frost, and the blessed, blessed church bells that send me angels' voices. But without these things, I cannot live. And by your wanting to take them away from me, or from any human creature, I know that your counsel is of devil, and that mine is of God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>